Hello, um, Tutorial Man 95. Today we'll be using Macromedia Fireworks 8 or CS3, whichever one you have, to um, make cool text reflections such as this one shown here. I hope you can see that reflection. Um, to start off the tutorial, File, New, and gonna make our dimensions. 800 by, oh, whoops, 100 by 600, click OK, it's a little big, but won't matter, it will automatically see this, change the canvas to black, so you can see what we're doing, text tool, come on, there we go, just select a random area. Font size 200. Um, tutorials. Or tutorial. Why doesn't it want to move? Sorry, my computer's slow today. There we go. You're gonna put it towards the top. And... Once this will start working properly, there, put it towards the top center. Now go back to text tool, select another area, type the same thing in the same color font. Tutorial. Whoops. There you go. Go back to planner tool and try and line them up <sighs> sorry guys my computer is slow okay try and line them up as accurately as possible to make it look like one tutorial there you go still having the second layer selected um go to i think it's modify transform yeah modify transform flip vertical and you get that it looks ugly, but drag the flipped one down. Leave a tad bit of space in between the two, so you get that. And um, click on your color, fill options, gradient. It already comes linear on mine. And in CS3, that's not going to happen. It's going to go vertical. But, so, we'll just fix that later. Edit. I like to put another color in there just to spruce it up. You don't have to. Just make it whatever color your text is, and then black on linear. Um, uh, there we go. For me, I'm going to have to fix how this looks because I use the old version and well you're gonna wanna have um, your main text color on top that's, that's good you're gonna wanna have the red part pointing up and the black part pointing down and try and make it so half the text is showing Okay, now you're going to um, select your crop tool. Where'd that tool go? There it is. You're going to crop this so all you see is your text. And double click it. And there's your crop. And let's compare the results. I think that's pretty accurate for those two right there. That's all for now. Um, make me video responses showing me your text or whatever you did with your reflections. Um, subscribe, leave comments, uh, rate the video if you like it. Um, that's all for now. See you later.